I'm Andrian Barbaros. I'm a board member of the Organizing Bureau of European School Student Unions, which is a platform for, co for cooperation between school student unions from all over Europe. Indeed, the number of blended mobility has risen, especially during those times with the global pandemic and with the age of digitalization. Uh, one of the advantages of the hybrid mobility of, or online mobility is the fact that it's um, almost all the time for free, so you don't have to pay for accommodation, you don't have to travel, you can just simply open your laptop and join some classes or have the possibility to visit a museum or have as well the possibility to see different, um, different parts of the world. It is quite uh, obvious that it can't replace the physical mobility, so um, the lack of human interaction is present, the lack of gaining some competencies that you might have gained through uh, actively participating in physical mobilities will not take place in the online setting. For example, uh, by visiting a different school or spending one week in a different school, either in your national country or abroad, you get to know more people, you get to uh, have some different conversation about different topics, you get a grip on that culture, you get a grip on how people interact, you also gain a different insight on, on education and this lacks of course during the, um, the online or hybrid mobilities. And when it comes to the engagement of schools but also teachers regarding um, student placement is the f uh, first and foremost is to have a consultation with students. So to really understand what are their needs, what uh, and where they would like to have some student placement. At the same time, I believe that this is also the responsibility of national educational systems, but also of the European Union as well. When it comes to the national level, it is important as well to have some legislation that covers this, uh, this act aspect of education, especially when it comes to the recognition of the of the period that uh, one student might might have uh, had access to even abroad or within that specific country at the same time from our perspective we believe that the Erasmus plus project of the European Union could be one of the um, one of the endeavors that could help school students to also have a place to um, to commute First and foremost, I think that the curriculum should be linked to the school trips in the sense that what is being taught in school should also have some sort of um, a fundamental, um, to be fundamental also for the extracurricular activities. So, for example, when we visit a museum or when we visit a factory, this would also be related to what we study in school so that it can complement the lessons that are being taught in school. For example, if we study at biology about the uh, about different types of animals, we might have the chance to go to a zoo to see how those animals are in real life. And this has um, an impact on, on the students and, their, uh, and their, their development in terms of how they perceive those things in real life. At the same time, uh, it is also important to have some uh, dialogue and some consultation with students to really understand what they would like to do during those school trips. Not only those um, school trips should also be related to the curriculum, but as well they should also have and be uh, in line with the needs of the students. So if they, for example, would like to learn more about uh, a specific age of history or maybe about a writer, schools and teacher could give the space and go and discover more about that specific topic.